It's starting to feel like a home in here. Welcome back to another moving vlog. I think we're on number three, which is crazy because it's already starting to feel like a home in here. With all the deliveries that have been happening, all of the things that we've been adding, it just feels so good. And it's so fun to see the vision come to life. Yesterday, we got blinds installed, which I'm so excited about because for a few days there, I was like living in a fishbowl, which was kind of scary at night. So that's good that we have these now, but these, I'm gonna have you stand over here just to like mm -hmm. get the full effect. The opening close from the middle, which I just feel like, I don't know, it feels so fancy. And then in all the other rooms, we just got rollers. So these ones I really like because they're light filtering. So it allows light to still come through. And then in the main bedroom, we got blackout ones, obviously. But I just feel like, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like this made such a big difference in the home and it just looks so much cozier now. And it's really nice for privacy and yeah just like that's one of the bigger house projects that i was excited to get done today we are doing a ton of home decor shopping my mom's with me my shopping partner we are going to where tj maxx mm -hmm. target and ross and ross so we have a lot of places <laughs> to hit we've got money to spend things to buy for the house i'm really excited i feel like we haven't done a proper home shopping moment yet so that's definitely necessary today. I have a huge list of things that I need to get. And then we might do some organizing today, possibly some hauls, all the good stuff. Oh, so good to shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the tiniest tape I measure know. I've ever seen. I know, these are pretty. These are cute. I know, they're gorgeous. Currently I'm looking for green pillows for the couch that I don't have yet, but I definitely want to add color with the pillows, with like a bro blanket. I love these. There is so many cute things here. This is so cute. You guys, I fear I am starting to understand the TJ Maxx hype. I'm sick to my stomach. These are so cute. Bins at Target are on sale, which is perfect because I need some for storage the damage has been done but we got lots of good things today i'm really excited i don't think i have it in me to do a haul today i have quite the home goods haul for you tj maxx ross marshall's target we did the works today i'll kind of speed through the boring stuff for example a step stool for the high reaching places Got a steal on these storage bins. I think it was like 20% off for every single one. So I just picked up four. Also from Target, very riveting. I got this little portable file cabinet, which really signifies a moment in my adulthood now that I have things to file. Also from Target, they have really cute little floor mats. This one is gonna go in the kitchen. I needed one of these little measuring cups that had the spout for better aim so i got one of these also a little toilet paper towel roll spoon letter hanging folders and manila folders so exciting and then these salad spinning spoons salad serving spoons were these pillows oh these pillows are from ross okay ross we haven't gotten the couch yet but it's an l sectional and so i've been trying to keep an eye out for decorative pillows. I'm definitely going for a green theme and kind of like a leafy theme too. So we found these at Ross, which I thought were so cute. I just got two just in case, if anything, I can use one in the bedroom or something, but the material is so soft. If you wanna get a little touch, it's kind of like a velvet, but I just thought the leaf look was really pretty on these. Got this really cute tablecloth that's spill resistant, very important for me because I'm one of the messiest people that you will probably ever meet. And it has a little leafy design got this wicker basket it's so beautiful i think i'm gonna put it in the office or in the barn room barn door room and we'll see what i end up putting in here whether it's clothes or swimsuits whatever it is but i just think it's super cute and it's also cute enough to stay out so we got this this is from tj maxx also from tj maxx more green pillows i'm not sure i'm pretty sure i'll keep everything but we'll see i have the receipts just in case but like i said definitely gonna Go for a green pillow theme. These were extremely necessary. It's avocado bag 
chip clips. This, I've never had one of these. It's a mandolin and it has like a safety feature, which is very important because I'm like prone to injuring myself in the kitchen. But I'm really excited about this just because sometimes the knife slips when I'm trying to thinly slice food. So I figured this would probably be better for me. I found the cutest little drying mats. It's the KitchenAid brand. It has cherries on it. So adorable. This pack of silicone tip kitchen utensils, some tongs, matching Calvin Klein PJ set. The fact that all of this took five hours to get sends me, but it's okay. I'm so excited about this. I'm definitely gonna be spending a lot of time sitting in this chair editing videos. So I'm glad to have a comfy one. It's also just so cute. And it was only a hundred dollars because it was on sale. On today's agenda, I don't know if you notice the <laughs> mass amount of boxes behind me. This is kind of the last bit of moving that I have to do. I wanna finally get everything out of there, start organizing, and then also after that, do the kitchen organization that I have been dying to do. my books out of its box which I missed reading so much but that reminded me that I wanted to rebuild my bookshelf I think I'm gonna do that in the room I think I want to do it right here next to Micah's dresser I just feel like it would probably look best here for now and then we'll see maybe I'll put it in the corner <laughs> getting a workout from organizing this bookshelf, but I'm so happy with how it's looking. I feel like it's adding a lot of much needed color to the room. I'm trying to strategically place different genres and things. Okay, I'm finished with that. I love the way it turned out. I think this area needed something. So now we have my little book station. I've kind of got it organized. I have some self-help-esque books on the top, some of my all-time favorite reads if anyone ever wants to borrow it. I parted with a lot of books that I loved that I read during the move just because it was gonna be too much, but I kept these, have a lot of books that I haven't read. I have literally a whole section for Frida McFadden right here. And then on the bottom, I just have some more books that I wanna read and then some series. This series I still need to read and I'm also in the middle of reading this one. I'm not playing around today. I've got all the things to organize. The kitchen, the pantry, the cabinets. I love organizing. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's just so satisfying. So let me show you the before. Here's the pantry. It's not horrendous, but I feel like it could just be in a little bit more order. This drawer sends me. <laughs> it's just so disorganized, unorganized. I don't know which one. <laughs> and then, my spices are kind of organized right now because I had these two stands from the apartment, but I got more. So hopefully this will look even better. I feel like I always come across those super satisfying videos where they literally empty out all of their spices and then put them in those jars. I don't know if that's doing too much if I do that, but I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna order, I think I'm, yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like I always do too much, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Something like that. I feel like that would make that whole cabinet look so organized. <gasps> yes.
progress in the kitchen organization has begun. I'm really happy with what I got done today. I don't think I ever showed you what the other cabinets looked like. This is where I keep all the glassware. Micah's sister actually organized this one and it looks so, so nice in here. In here, we have all the bowls and plates, all of the pans and different cookware. My lovely little coffee station, it's so cute. I think I have little tea and matcha things in here and then mugs up here. The kitchen's really coming together. There's so much of it and I still have not cooked in here yet, which hopefully is coming soon. Also, I'm waiting for bar stools to come. I feel like that will add a lot and look really nice. The next addition to the house will indeed be the couch, which is so exciting because right now this is the couch that we had in the apartment. And it definitely, I mean, she works, she's great. I think we're gonna put that in the office, use that as a podcasting couch, but we're getting a full sectional couch in here, which I've always dreamed of. So I'm so excited because I'm a big couch girly. I love to rot on the couch. I love to, enjoy my couch time. Also, this time of day in the house is literally insane. I don't know if you see that light streaming through, but it just gets so beautiful. I love it here, I do. These are kind of the colors that we're leaning towards for painting. I wanna paint that bedroom wall that's behind our bed in the bedroom so badly because I feel like the room just needs color and I've always wanted to have a green wall. So I'm almost thinking like, I don't know if this is, I mean, this is a really nice sage green color and I love it so much, but I'm like, am I playing it too safe with that? Do I go a little bit darker? I don't know. I mean, paint is just paint. You can always change it, but I definitely want to do some shade of green. I just don't know if I want to take it to the next level or not. And then this shade of brown, we're thinking of doing an accent wall behind the TV, just some ideas. We've been picking up like paint swatches and stuff, but that's a project for when Mike is home. There's so many random little projects and things that we wanna do with this house. Also, I have a whole outdoor area to design, so that'll be fun. I also feel like it's kind of the perfect season to do that since summer is coming. So it'd be, it'll be nice to spend some time in the yard and like kind of design that area. And this room, this is like the office, it'll be, a podcast room as well. So the couch that's in the living room right now, when we get the new couch, that couch is gonna go in here. So I'm gonna use it as like a podcasting couch. I bought the loudest, for me, most beautiful rug that I have had my eye on for so long, but I feel like it just was gonna be too much for a living room or for a bedroom. But I was like, you know what? Let's, this is gonna be a creative space. Let's make it feel creative. So I'm so excited. That I think just got shipped, so. That'll be here sometime soon. I definitely want this room to feel colorful and feel youthful. I feel like the rest of the house has this like more adult elevated vibe, which I love and I designed it to look like that, but I, I wanna have a room where it's like fun. You know what I mean? I hope you've been enjoying these vlogs. I've been having so much fun taking you along for all the little things that I've been up to. If you stay till this point in the video, comment down below the paint emoji, like the paint swatch thing. 